Chapter 2 of The Last Kids on Earth and The Midnight Blade. <sighs> Chapter 2. As soon as we were through the door, we as soon as we're through the door, we start searching for cover. Quint silently points to a row of shelves filled with bowling shoes. Getting there is a claustrophobic nightmare. Kind of feels like Best Buy on Black Friday. We're forcefully pushing ourselves through the zombie horde, horde trying to reach our safe place. But we're lucky the zombies leave us alone. The horde is morphing from a huge, mushed up mash to one organized line. They're, they are drawn by something we don't see. Or here, and they're shuffling away from the entrance and toward the old arcade and snack bar room. When the last zombie has turned the corner, I realize that this whole place is emptier than I expected by a lot, and most important, no sign of Evie or Gast. Gast was scared of the silent, silent uh, slicer last time, so all I gotta do is show it to him and he'll via moose. But first, we gotta find him. Guys, it's quiet. I say too quiet. Dirk shoots me a confused look. I see sweat pouring off of his face and fat drop droplets. Droplets. Quint, don't you guys hear that? People like mumbling, talking. Oh, uh, no. Dirk frowns, getting sweatier, then quickly saying, "Oh, okay. Maybe me neither. Just wanting to make sure." Guys, Quint says in a whisper. But let me do that again. Guys, Quint says in a whisper. He's using an old selfie stick with a mirror to peek around the corner. The zombies all went into the arcade, but there is our zombie guards at the doors. I scooch over and glance in the mirror. I see four zombies standing watch, standing standing watch, wearing hooded robes. These robes, I s realized, are just like the ones we saw in Evie's book. She's drafting drafting these zombies into her cabal of the cosmic. Old timey members of the cabal of the cosmic, way back in the day. The Cabal of the Cosmic was a group of crazy pants people from the olden days who were obsessed with who were obsessed with bad dudes like Rizok, the agent destructor of worlds. Evie found their old book full of information and instructions. It's okay though. We stole the book from her and now we have our own guide to Rizok's world of cosmic horror. Guys, I whisper nodding toward the arcade snack bar. I think that's Gast's real home base. A villainous Layer inside a villainous layer, June asked. How many villainous layers do, does one inter interdimensional rat monster need? Quint responds. The answer, it seems, is two. If we're gonna sneak in and crash their evil party, I say, we need to blend in like undercover super spies. I lock eyes with June and she gets right away. We gotta take out these guards, triple ninja style, and steal their duty still their dirty duds. June nudges quick. He pulls a wa waffle bat waffle bat waffle ball box from his action geek bag, but inside is no ordinary waffle ball. Inside is the waffle meatball, gu guaranteed to get any zombies' attention. Rotten ham, mealworms, and jelly beans. I'll, ro I'll roll, Quint says, and I'll take them out. June adds, sorry guys, my nose is itchy. June adds, with that, it's me, it's meatball away. Quint bowls it toward the arcade and rolls past the blue co cloaked zombie guards. They look around, sniffing them a moment later. The guards stagger after the ball hunched over. Bony fingers grabbing and scraping, one finally collapses onto the ball, like it's trying to recover a fumble in the end zone. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And...
and John. All four of them begin gnawing at the thing, sucking on the waffle meatball. Bingo. A very good, gr gross bingo. Jean smiles. I got this next part. She says and lifts her torn zombie le sleeve to reveal the gift. I got it from her this past Christmas and it's a total... Don't care, don't care. And it's a total monster knockout device. Also good for temporary zombie takedowns. How you like me now? Pop out blade. Uh. She cracks a wheel on the side and then whack, whack, whack. Four blasts, four blue robbed zombies hit the floor. We shove the zombies into a storage closet and slip them into their robes. We look pretty legit. We're like real deal members of the Cabal of the Cosmic. Uh, these Cabal clothes are just homemade good, home goods bathrobes. Don't knock home goods. They are cozy and machine washable. I I the entrance to the arcade with the guards gone. All we have to do is slip inside. But I hide. But I hi, his, hesitate. His, hi, hesitate because it's finally happening. We've searched long and hard for this foul, formidable, form, formidable creature that wants to rule our broken planet. And now. It's now or never. I still myself, and we go, I whisper. And remember, best zombie impressions ever. It's game time. Heart pounding, we push the door open, going for a total 007 level inconspicuousness. We shuffle inside, and well, we find the, the zombie sets for sure hundreds of them. I'm trying to do a zombie version of Fly Casual. My face twisted to look undead, well, simultaneously trying to give off a whole hey how are you doing nice party come here often we totally belong here and if you're curious yep we're definitely zombies no reason to look closely vibe but it's hard to be casual because what we see inside here is so banana is insane that is it from chapter two stay tuned for chapter three